Genesis chapters 32 through 36, from the Holy Bible, King James Version. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Darren L. Slider, www.logoslibrary.org. The Holy Bible, King James Version, Genesis, Chapter 32. And Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's host, and he called the name of that place Maenaim. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau his brother, unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom. And he commanded them, saying, Thus shall ye speak unto my lord Esau. Thy servant Jacob saith thus, I have sojourned with Laban, and stayed there until now. And I have oxen, and asses, flocks, and men-servants, and women-servants. And I have sent to tell my Lord, that I may find grace in thy sight. And the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to thy brother Esau, and also he cometh to meet thee, and four hundred men with him. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided the people that was with him, and the flocks and herds, and the camels, into two bands. And said, If Esau come to the one company, and smite it, then the other company which is left shall escape. And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham, and God of my father Isaac, the Lord which saidst unto me, Return unto thy country, and to thy kindred, and I will deal well with thee. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies, and of all the truth, which thou hast showed unto thy servant. For with my staff I passed over this Jordan, and now I am become two bands. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me, and the mother with the children. And thou saidst, I will surely do thee good, and make thy seed as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. And he lodged there that same night, and took of that which came to his hand a present for Esau his brother, two hundred she-goats, and twenty he-goats, two hundred ewes, and twenty rams, thirty milk-camels with their colts, forty kine, and ten bulls, twenty she-asses, and ten foals. And he delivered them into the hand of his servants, every drove by themselves, and said unto his servants, Pass over before me, and put a space betwixt drove and drove. And he commanded the foremost, saying, When Esau my brother meeteth thee, and asketh thee, saying, Whose art thou, and whither goest thou, and whose are these before thee? Then thou shalt say, They be thy servant Jacob's. It is a present sent unto my lord Esau, and behold, also, he is behind us. And so commanded he the second, and the third, and all that followed the droves, saying, On this manner shall ye speak unto Esau when ye find him. And say ye moreover, Behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with the present that goeth before me, and afterward I will see his face. Peradventure he will accept of me. So went the present over before him, and himself lodged that night in the company. And he rose up that night, and took his two wives, and his two women-servants, and his eleven sons, and passed over the four Jabbok. And he took them, and sent them over the brook, and sent over that he had. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint, as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. And Jacob asked him, and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. 
and as he passed over Penuel, the sun rose upon him, and he halted upon his thigh. Therefore the children of Israel eat not of the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh unto this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh in the sinew that shrank. Chapter 33 And Jacob lifted up his eyes, and looked, and behold, Esau came, and with him four hundred men. And he divided the children unto Leah, and unto Rachel, and unto the two handmaids. And he put the handmaids and their children foremost, and Leah and her children after, and Rachel and Joseph hindermost. And he passed over before them, and bowed himself to the ground seven times, until he came near to his brother. And Esau ran to meet him, and embraced him, and fell on his neck, and kissed him, and they wept. And he lifted up his eyes, and saw the women and the children, and said, Who are those with thee? And he said, The children which God hath graciously given thy servant. Then the handmaidens came near, they and their children, and they bowed themselves. And Leah also with her children came near, and bowed themselves, and after came Joseph near at Rachel, and they bowed themselves. And he said, What meanest thou by all this drove which I met? And he said, These are to find grace in the sight of my Lord. And Esau said, I have enough, my brother, keep that thou hast unto thyself. And Jacob said, Nay, I pray thee, if now I have found grace in thy sight, then receive my present at my hand. For therefore I have seen thy face, as though I had seen the face of God, and thou wast pleased with me. Take, I pray thee, my blessing that is brought to thee, because God hath dealt graciously with me, and because I have enough. And he urged him, and he took it. And he said, Let us take our journey, and let us go, and I will go before thee. And he said unto him, My lord knoweth that the children are tender, and the flocks and herds with young are with me, and if men should overdrive them one day, all the flock will die. Let my lord, I pray thee, pass over before his servant, and I will lead on softly, according as the cattle that goeth before me, and the children be able to endure, until I come unto my lord, unto Seir. And Esau said, Let me now leave with thee some of the folk that are with me. And he said, What needeth it? Let me find grace in the sight of my lord. So Esau returned that day on his way unto Seir. And Jacob journeyed to Succoth, and built him an house, and made booths for his cattle. Therefore the name of the place is called Succoth. And Jacob came to Shalem, a city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, when he came from Paden Aram, and pitched his tent before the city. And he bought a parcel of a field, where he had spread his tent, at the hand of the children of Hamor, Shechem's father, for an hundred pieces of money. And he erected there an altar, and called it El Elohi Israel. Chapter 34 And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Shechem, the son of Hamor the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, he took her, and lay with her, and defiled her. And his soul clave unto Dinah the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the damsel, and spake kindly unto the damsel. And Shechem spake unto his father Hamor, saying, Get me this damsel to wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Dinah his daughter. Now his sons were with his cattle in the field, and Jacob held his peace until they were come. And Hamor the father of Shechem went out unto Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it, and the men were grieved, and they were very wroth, because he had wrought folly in Israel in lying with Jacob's daughter, which thing ought not to be done. And Hamor communed with them, saying, The soul of my son Shechem longeth for your daughter. I pray you give her him to wife and make ye marriages with us, and give your daughters unto us, and take our daughters unto you, and ye shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before you. Dwell, and trade ye therein, and get you possessions therein. And Shechem said unto her father, and unto her brethren, Let me find grace in your eyes, and what ye shall say unto me I will give. 
Ask me never so much dowry and gift, and I will give according as ye shall say unto me. But give me the damsel to wife. And the sons of Jacob answered Shechem and Hamor his father deceitfully, and said, Because he had defiled Dinah their sister. And they said unto them, We cannot do this thing to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised, for that were a reproach unto us. But in this will we consent unto you, if ye will be as we be, that every male of you be circumcised. Then will we give our daughters unto you, and we will take your daughters to us, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. But if ye will not hearken unto us to be circumcised, then will we take our daughter, and we will be gone. And their words pleased Hamor and Shechem, Hamor's son. And the young man deferred not to do the thing, because he had delight in Jacob's daughter, and he was more honourable than all the house of his father. And Hamor and Shechem his son came unto the gate of their city, and communed with the men of their city, saying, These men are peaceable with us, therefore let them dwell in the land, and trade therein. For the land, behold, it is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us for wives, and let us give them our daughters. Only herein will the men consent unto us, for to dwell with us, to be one people, if every male among us be circumcised as they are circumcised. Shall not their cattle and their substance and every beast of theirs be ours? Only let us consent unto them, and they will dwell with us. And unto Hamor and unto Shechem his son hearkened all that went out of the gate of his city, and every male was circumcised all that went out of the gate of his city. And it came to pass on the third day, when they were sore, that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brethren, took each man his sword, and came upon the city boldly, and slew all the males. And they slew Hamor and Shechem his son with the edge of the sword, and took Dinah out of Shechem's house, and went out. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain, and spoiled the city, because they had defiled their sister. They took their sheep, and their oxen, and their asses, and that which was in the city, and that which was in the field, and all their wealth, and all their little ones, and their wives took they captive, and spoiled even all that was in the house. And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, Ye have troubled me to make me to stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites, and I, being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me, and slay me, and I shall be destroyed, I and my house. And they said, Should he deal with our sister as with an harlot? Chapter 35 And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make there an altar unto God, that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. Then Jacob said unto his household, and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments. And let us arise, and go up to Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hand, and all their earrings which were in their ears, and Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem. And they journeyed, and the terror of God was upon the cities that were round about them, and they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. So Jacob came to Luz, which is in the land of Canaan, that is, Bethel, he and all the people that were with him. And he built there an altar, and called the place El Bethel, because there God appeared unto him when he fled from the face of his brother. But Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, died, and she was buried beneath Bethel under an oak, and the name of it was called Alonbekoth. And God appeared unto Jacob again, when he came out of Paden Aram, and blessed him. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name and he called his name Israel. Then God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply, a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. And the land which I give Abraham and Isaac, to thee I will give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. And God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. 
and Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he talked with him, even a pillar of stone, and he poured a drink offering thereon, and he poured oil thereon. And Jacob called the name of the place where God spake with him, Bethel. And they journeyed from Bethel, and there was but a little way to come to Ephrath, and Rachel travailed, and she had hard labor. And it came to pass, when she was in hard labor, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, thou shalt have this son also. And it came to pass, as her soul was in departing, for she died, that she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin. And Rachel died, and was buried in the way to Ephrath, which is Bethlehem. And Jacob set a pillar upon her grave, that is the pillar of Rachel's grave unto this day. And Israel journeyed, and spread his tent beyond the tower of Edar. And it came to pass, when Israel dwelt in that land, that Reuben went and lay with Bilhah his father's concubine, and Israel heard it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve. The sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulun. The sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin. And the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's handmaid, Dan, and Naphtali. And the sons of Zilpah, Leah's handmaid, Gad, and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob, which were born to him, and paid in Aram. And Jacob came unto Isaac his father, unto Mamre, unto the city of Arba, which is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac sojourned. And the days of Isaac were a hundred and fourscore years. And Isaac gave up the ghost, and died, and was gathered unto his people, being old and full of days. And his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. Chapter 36 Now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Esau took his wives of the daughters of Canaan, Ada the daughter of Elon the Hittite, and Aholibamah the daughter of Anah the daughter of Zibion the Hivite, and Bashemoth Ishmael's daughter, sister of Nebajoth. And Ada bare to Esau Eliphaz, and Bashemoth bare Rule. And Aholibamah bare Jeish, and Jaalam, and Korah. These are the sons of Esau, which were born unto him in the land of Canaan. And Esau took his wives, and his sons, and his daughters, and all the persons of his house, and his cattle, and all his beasts, and all his substance, which he had got in the land of Canaan, and went into the country from the face of his brother Jacob. For their riches were more than that they might dwell together, and the land wherein they were strangers could not bear them because of their cattle. Thus Esau dwelt in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites, in Mount Seir. These are the names of Esau's sons, Eliphaz, the son of Ada, the wife of Esau, Ruel, the son of Bashemoth, the wife of Esau. And the sons of Eliphaz were Teman, Omar, Zepho, and Gatam, and Kenaz. And Timnah was concubine to Eliphaz, Esau's son, and she bare to Eliphaz Amalek. These were the sons of Ada, Esau's wife. And these were the sons of Ruel, Nahath, and Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. These were the sons of Bashemoth, Esau's wife. And these were the sons of Aholibamah, the daughter of Anah, the daughter of Zibion, Esau's wife. And she bare to Esau, Jeish, and Jaalam, and Korah. These were the dukes of the sons of Esau, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn son of Esau, Duke Teman, Duke Omar, Duke Zepho, Duke Kenaz, Duke Korah, Duke Gatim, and Duke Amalek. These are the dukes that came of Eliphaz in the land of Edom. These were the sons of Ada. And these are the sons of Ruel, Esau's son, Duke Nahath, Duke Zerah, Duke Shammah, Duke Mizah. These are the dukes that came of Ruel in the land of Edom. These are the sons of Bashemoth, Esau's wife. And these are the sons of Aholibamah, Esau's wife, Duke Jeish, Duke Jaalam, Duke Korah. These were the dukes that came of Aholibamah, the daughter of Ana, Esau's wife. These are the sons of Esau, who is Edom, and these are their dukes. These are the sons of Seir, the Horite, who inhabited the land, Lotan, and Shobal, and Zibion, and Ana, and Dishon, and Ezer, and Dishon. These are the dukes of the Horites, 
the children of Seir, and the land of Edom. And the children of Lotan were Horai and Hemam, and Lotan's sister was Timnah. And the children of Shobal were these, Alvin, and Manahath, and Ebal, Shepho, and Onam. And these are the children of Zibion, both Aja and Ana. This was that Ana that found the mules in the wilderness, as he fed the asses of Zibion his father. And the children of Ana were these, Dishan and Aholibama, the daughter of Ana. And these are the children of Dishan, Hemdan, and Eshban, and Ithran, and Kiran. The children of Ezer are these, Bilhan, and Zeavan, and Achan. The children of Dishan are these, Uz, and Aaron. These are the dukes that come of the Horites, Duke Lotan, Duke Shobal, Duke Zibion, Duke Ana, Duke Dishan, Duke Ezer, Duke Dishan. These are the dukes that come of Horai, among their dukes in the land of Seir. And these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom, before there reigned any king over the children of Israel. And Bela the son of Beor reigned in Edom, and the name of his city was Denhabah. And Bela died, and Jobab the son of Zerah of Bozrah reigned in his stead. And Jobab died, and Husham of the land of Temani reigned in his stead. And Husham died, and Hadad the son of Bedad, who smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Avith. And Hadad died, and Samla of Masrika reigned in his stead. And Samla died, and Saul of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his stead. And Saul died, and Baal Hanan the son of Achbor reigned in his stead. And Baal Hanan the son of Achbor died, and Hadar reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Peu, and his wife's name was Mehetabel, the daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mezahab. And these are the names of the dukes that came of Esau, according to their families, after their places, by their names, Duke Timna, Duke Alva, Duke Jethath, Duke Aholibama, Duke Elah, Duke Pinon, Duke Kenaz, Duke Teman, Duke Mibzar, Duke Magdiel, Duke Iram. These be the dukes of Edom, according to their habitations, in the land of their possession. He is Esau, the father of the Edomites. End of Genesis chapters 32 through 36 Recording by Darren L. Slider, Fort Worth, Texas, www.logoslibrary.org